Hey guys, my name is Nudge and welcome back to Pikmin. In the last part, Olimar crash landed on the planet oh, that is unknown to him, landing in, in the impact site, recovering one ship part to his broken beloved dolphin. And now, a glimmer of hope has sparked in his heart, and now we have got hope found in the forest, being the forest of hope. So now, let's head in there. And now this is the day where things truly matter. All of your actions will be judged on this day. This is the one day that everything matters now. I mean, until day three, day four, and you, so on, so on. And whoa, that is a gigantic pellet right there. It's a 20. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand under the bit light beneath the onion and press A. Yep, let's go do that. So, calling out your Pikmin. You can call out as many Pikmin as you want. So right now we're going to have all 25 of us. 25 of them. And now you you would probably notice this meter above on the screen. That is how much time you have in a day. I'm pretty sure days range from 14 minutes, I think. So I, I think it's like perfect standard for videos. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna have the Pikmin break down this wall. It is very crucial that you break down this wall because you'll get nothing done in here. I mean, I'll mark him. This. Yeah, yeah, get it! Get it! Yeah! Olimar's no slouch, that's why you're in Smash Brothers for a reason. And now we've got a different colored pellet posey over here. We're not going to do anything about that quite yet. Uh, I'm just going to call one of you. Or five of you, that's fine. Five, four, go back on there. We're going to sprout more of you dudes. And yeah, we got enemies over here. So, this little guy over here... This is no, that's a dwarf bulbor. The basically think of like Goombas for this game. And did I the other one? I don't know. Never mind. I'm just I'm just gonna assume I did. Uh yeah, they're really easy to take care of and hey! Well done guys! The way to kill these things is going up near him and OH he almost died! Oh boy! Yeah, um, they eat Pikmin and Having no Pikmin is bad. Uh, they also drop uh, some pellets as well, but throwing them on their back, it results in an insta-kill. And you would know they're dead because a little ghost appears on their, or up above their, uh, their carcass. And it's really gruesome. But these things, these things are intimidating. Those are Bulborbs. They're, they're the big versions of the Dwarf Bulborbs, and they're normally asleep. If a uh, little bulb orb is near them, and uh, the little bulb orb does- Shit! Okay then, never mind, I'm trying to go for a no Pikmin death! Alright, if a little bulb orb is near them and they die, uh, and they cry, the mother will wake up. And we don't want that to happen, so let's just build up our numbers. So this day is mainly like raising up your numbers again, or like exploring it as much. So we'll just... I'm pretty sure they can fall over on this one. Please be right, please don't go near the ball blob. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, we've got a bridge over here. We're not gonna make the bridge quite yet because basically we can't do anything about that other bridge right now. So we're just gonna leave it. And over here, hey, how's it going? What is this? Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo! It has unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Well, yeah. You can check the, uh, the description by pressing A on the, uh, on the ship part. You too. Eternal Fuel Dynamo, this should light up things. No more candles for me. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Olimar's character in this, it, actually, in this entire, like, game that Nintendo has made. He's probably the most realistic character I've ever seen in a, in a Nintendo game. He is, like, a family man 
that is struggling to survive on a, on a foreign planet and he's worried that he'll never see his family again if he won't make it. It is so sad. And I'm hearing the noise and I'm kind of horrified. It's not in the game, it's actually some... I'm pretty sure it's my cat knocking on the door. I'm not gonna let you in, I'm playing Pikmin. We'll just keep up these guys. Keep up these guys. <laughs> and if Olimar shows his character development in this game through the use of his journal entries. Each time you end the day, you'll get a different um, journal entry from Olimar. And if you do good or do bad, it'll depending on what you get. It's, sometimes it can really be heartwarming or be really sad. Well, sometimes it could be like, I have a glimmer of hope, these Pikmin are really helpful, I really love this species, or something like that. But anyway, oh, I'm really not looking forward to this, I know I'm gonna lose this. So basically, the way to beat these things is to sneak up behind him, and rush at his bomb! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 come on, come on! Oh yeah, there goes the no Pikmin death, and 40! Oh. Well, we lost six Pikmin from that, yeah. It is, it is what it is. You lose Pikmin. Yeah, try not to get attached, but I love this game. I can't help but be attached. Uh, do I want to bring these things? No, I want to leave them. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? How many do you require? 40! Wow, okay, we got exactly enough. Uh, just gonna leave that wall for a little bit because we can't do anything about that yet because we got our Pikmin taking the fuel dynamo. So, but basically we will, we need to get across there because there's something in the distance that is worth our while. Worth our while? Worth a while. Thanks. Thanks brain for making me screw up. Jeez, they're, they're taking their sweet time but it's fine. It, it, I reckon that would be really heavy. I mean, probably not for us. Like, Omar is like the size of a nin of a Nintendo GameCube cartridge, I think. That's tiny ass. <laughs> but anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't show this off. All right. So once these things are done, getting the field dynamo. Nice. Very, very nice. The Eternal Fuel Dynamo! This should... Alright, he said it before. You recovered two of 30 ship parts. If I can just find three more, I should be able to increase my fl my ship's capabilities. No! No! Oh, I love this. Alright, well, I didn't show this off. This is a patch of grass! Yeah! How revolutionary! Gonna go over there and the Pikmin will start plucking him. What do you get from it? You get a ball of nectar! Hey, hey, hey! Don't be hogs! Don't be hogs, dudes! You gotta share it, man! Another intriguing discovery! A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Close observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Yes! All the Pikmin have different stages of life, from leaf, bud, to flower. The uh, with, with leaves, look at this, look how fast the red flowers are compared to the red leaves. Oh, my clock has indicated the, comings, the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and the day display. At the bottom of my space are uh, at the bottom are my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can just press the Z to Z button to rotate the camera. Left or right on the D-pad to zoom, yes, we already know this. So, 
The leaf, bud, and flower stages depend on Pikmin's speed, strength, and uh, overall clumsiness because Pikmin can trip and it can get annoying. So let's just break this down. So they do get stronger, so I'm pretty sure I should have flowered those dudes before we took down that bulb orb. But it's fine, it's fine. We got flowers now. And it is halfway to the day, and we, we got one ship part, which is nice, but I want to get that. I need to get that. Break it down, and... Oh boy, you're going to be a lot of trouble, aren't you? I can just tell. I can tell. You're not going to be a pain in the ass now, are you? Because your mother is right there. And I think she is a lovely lady to be around. I just don't want to piss her off. Come on. Come on, break. Break! Break loose! Come on! Break it! I don't have all day! Yay! Alright, uh, how the frick am I gonna do this? Come here. Come here. Oh boy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> don't go back! You know what? Fine. Bad. This is honestly bad. What am I doing? We need to escape! 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 Well, okay, yeah, no, that was honestly my fault. Oh, crap! Ah, oh, this one's still there! Ah, oh, he's following us! Don't, don't eat him! Okay, good. Uh, go away. Go away. Shoo. I'm just gonna pick up your, uh, your partner. Sorry about that. And where are you going? Ah, oh, that was the worst. Plan of attack. Shoot, we lost a lot of Pikmin than I wanted to. Well, frick! Okay, that was that was my bad. That was poor judgment on my bat on my front. There we go. You know what? Just get that. There we go. Oh boy, that was a mistake. I <laughs> I'm embarrassed. A little jitteriness of my cursor, it went towards the big ball ball instead of the tiny one. I mean, it did die in the skirmish! But yeah. And you, as you see, we now got buds. They can actually go back to being flowers when in battle or being shook around. And here's a little cool thing you can do. So Olimar took damage. Actually, that actually might be helpful to show this off. Olimar took damage in that fight. You go to your ship, press A. You can check how many ship parts you have, and how much need for your kip's, uh, kip, your ship's flying capabilities, and it will repair his suit. So it is forgiving. No, 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 no! Do not go on that. I don't want that quite yet. All right, hang on. We got this. Hang on. I am a, I am a good Pikmin gamer. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not bad. I swear. I just make poor judgment. We'll, be go we'll go back into the fray of battle once again with 38. Oh, dude, we had 40 Pikmin and we reduced to 16. Alright, well, he's not going to expect it now. Well, she hasn't called it before. I don't know. Come on, guys. Let's go back. Oh, I feel bad. You hear the little Pikmin cries as soon as they die, and you can't, you can't help but feel bad. Oh, it is. Kind of RUSH! This is revenge for every single one you took! Haha! <laughs> That's what you deserve, but as we get close... It is yellow! It is yellow! Alright. Can you... Can you sprout? I don't have, I don't have all day. Let's get it! He's got ears! He looks like an elf. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin none other, none other the less. First glance suggests that 
This Pikmin, or oh, this one has what? And oh, what is that? <laughs> First glance suggests this one has what? In some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it weighs less than the others. In what ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin, yeah, but we can swap it by pressing B. Yes, watch this. We can change indeed. And they, he was right about it. It, it is, they do weigh more. They do weigh less. So therefore, they can be thrown higher. Um, I don't want you to go with that. Uh, I don't want to bring those back. Is it over here? Oh crap, it's over there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get that. Sprout, damn you! We don't have a lot of time. We need to get this. No, don't throw them! Can I, camera, work with me here? Thank you. Alright, nice. It, I threw a yellow one! Don't you dare think that game. I did throw a yellow one. What were you do? I meant to sprout and not throw him. Come here, dude! Uh, where'd it go? Ah, oh, right there. Uh... We're gonna have enough time... Do we, oh, do we even have enough time? Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, yeah. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath dolphin and onions will probably enter the onion on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them back to my group, they may not be able to get back. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planted here are safe. But I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Yeah, uh, like I said yesterday, uh... Not good leaving Pikmin behind! So... Tis... It is bad. It is honestly the most horrific way you can lose Pikmin in this game. And that's just saying something that I just lost like a, a bunch of Pikmin to the ball board. But for right now, I think I might just call it call it safe here because I'm just building up the numbers near the onion. And there's the countdown! Alright, let's see if we can have enough time to sprout all of these. I think we will. I think we will. Yeah, we will. Alright, well, I think this has been a little bit of a productive day. We got one ship part, we discovered a new type of Pikmin. We had our first major loss of Pikmin, which I'm not proud of. I am still regretting it. But, anyway, it's been a perfect day. Jeez, I can't wait to see how many Pikmin I've lost. We went from 40 to 16. Let me see if I can do the do the math. I think it's like crap. Ah, oh, crap. Doing maths on the spot is really hard. No Pikmin for you, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Scream in the air. Two days since impact. It appears that my ship, many of my ship parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the ship part, the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only pr have to press plus to locate my parts. Yet, there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I'm, a, if I am attacked, and my space dude takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make sure to make my suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Sprout is secret 30! Oh, ah, it's only day two and I lost 30! Ah, the dip of Fred Pikmin, I am so sorry, little ones! Your sacrifice was definitely not in vain. We did discover a new type of Pikmin. Oh, that is... Oh, that is horrific. I am so sorry. Well, we recovered one ship part, discovered a new type of Pikmin, and had a genocide of 30 Pikmin. I say that's great! 
Well, I'm going to end things off right here. So next time on Pikmin, we're going to go back to the Forest of Hope and find the remaining ship parts there and hopefully build up our numbers for the yellows. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I hope you all have a good one.